Hi, Caleb with Brownhouse here, and today we're going to be installing the Midwest Industry stock on the Henry Homesteader. Uh, so if you don't know what the Henry Homesteader is, it's Henry's pistol caliber carbine. Uh, it takes either Henry mags, Glock mags, they got a few other mag wells as well. Uh, but that is what we're going to be doing. We already installed the Midwest Industries handguard on this gun. And uh, if you have any questions about that, go check out that video. It's pretty straightforward. All right, so let's get started on the stock itself. Uh, step one is going to be to make sure the firearm is indeed unloaded. All right, step two is going to be to repeat step one. All right, and then step three is going to be to repeat. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, we're good now. Okay, so uh, first thing we need to do is get this stock off because we can't put a new one on without taking this one off. All right, if you've ever taken the butt pad off of like uh, your older shotguns, like your Remington 1100, 1187, you know, something like that, uh, you know that there are screws underneath this nice rubberized butt pad here. So in order to get those off, we're gonna use a Phillips head screwdriver bit from our Fix It Sticks kit. And what I like to do to prevent from tearing the rubber is just put a little bit of oil on there. All right, then we'll push our screwdriver bit in. And loosen. And of course you can put the gun in the vise, but I'm doing it outside the vise just to uh, show you that if you don't have a vise, you can certainly still do this upgrade. So I loosened the top one most of the way, and then I went to the back one, and now I'm just going back to the top one here, or bottom, top and bottom, not top and back. Let's see how we're doing. There we go. All right. So we set that butt pad aside. Now be careful. Those are wood screws, and they're pretty sharp, right? Don't, don't poke yourself and, and give yourself a boo-boo with that. Just kind of be mindful. All right. So now, if you look into the hole there, you'll notice that there is a Allen wrench attachment. You probably can't see it with the camera, uh, but I'll take it out so that you can see what I'm talking about here. All right, so we're just going to need to um, look at that very closely. Guess what size it is and maybe get it wrong on the first try. Let's see. No, I got it right, because I'm a dang professional, okay? All right, there we go. So I'll just unscrew that. This is obviously the first time I've done this upgrade is right here on camera right now. So we're experiencing this together. See how we're doing. Not quite there yet. All right. So the stock will now come right off. And you have your tang on the back that your stock, your new stock will attach to. All right, so the new stock is actually going to attach in two pieces. Okay, the first piece is going to be the grip portion. And all we're going to do is slide that onto the tang there. All right, and this one's a little snug. That's okay. You just press it on. And we'll just actually grab a nylon hammer and just give this one a little tap. It's being stubborn, uh, but that's okay. We can, we can be pretty persuasive. I have a hammer somewhere in here. I need to start uh, labeling my drawers. There we go. Top drawer. Remember that for next time. 
All right, so I'll just put it muzzle down on the wood table here and give it a tap with the nylon. All right, yep, we're looking good. Not too much resistance, it's just a little stiff. All right, there we go. And it's nice and flush against the receiver now. And uh, we can go ahead and put our stock screw in. All right, oh, and you also have this bag of hardware here. This contains your two polymer grip panels. and a bag of screws, which we'll get to in just a moment, and some Vibratite. All right, so this screw here, uh, this is gonna be your new stock bolt. You're not gonna reuse the one that was in your stock. So take this stock, go put it in the box that the gun came in or something, you know, somewhere you're not gonna lose it. Uh, Cause every once in a while you'll wanna use a nice wooden stock on your gun. I know I do, I switch stuff around all the time. Oh, uh, I digress. Okay, stock screw, right. So, what we're gonna do, make sure that, yep, that'll still fit it. We're using the same size there. And, and if you look at this piece that sticks out the top, we're just gonna run the bolt right in there. And tighten it down nice and tight. If you want, you can put a little bit of the Vibratite on those threads. We're just going to snug it up here. That feels good. All right. So now the grip portion's on. We just need to attach the uh, stock portion. I mean, I guess if you're like you're, you're feeling it, you know, you could just leave it like this and attach the grip panels. I don't know if you want to do like some crazy Mad Max stuff, you can not put the stock portion on. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and put that stock portion on. I just had to say that because it looks like some crazy stuff somebody would do. All right, so the stock goes on. Now you have all these screws here, right? So let's identify which ones are gonna be holding the stock on. So if you look at these screws here, they have a taper at the base, right? These are the ones you're gonna be using. The other screws here, these pan head screws, those are what hold on your grip panel. So there should be four of those, set those aside. And then there's four of these as well. These are the ones we're using. So again, you can put a little bit of Vibratite on there and attach them. But for this, we are not going to. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start one, not tighten it down all the way right and I'm gonna do the other one here and I'm just gonna snug them but not tighten them yet same thing on the opposite side and the reason we don't tighten them down all the way one at a time uh, to just make sure that all four holes can get aligned together before we start tightening things down. And we'll just snug them up once we get them in position. Same thing on the opposite side. All right. And that is the actual stock install itself, okay? At this point, you can go ahead and install your grip panels. The ones it comes with are polymer. Uh, you can also get them in G10. Midwest Industry sells that separately. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and set them in. And if you've watched the other stock install video, I'm gonna make the same exact joke about, you know, you can figure this out. If you ever play the game as a kid where you installed the square block and the square hole and then the round one and the round hole, uh, basic like toddler motor function type stuff, uh, you'll be able to get this, so super easy. And we'll just put the screws in. I probably wouldn't use Vibratite on this part, uh, just because I don't think it's necessary at all. It's 
snug that up there. We'll do the same thing on the opposite panel. All right, snug it up. And there we go. Too easy. All right, and uh, another thing I'm gonna do here is, well, this stock itself, uh, you have a nice rubberized butt pad, okay? You can get a spacer, let me grab it here so you can see, from Midwest Industries, if your length of pull is longer, uh, all you do is install this spacer, then reinstall the butt pad with the new screws. It's super straightforward, I'm not gonna do it right now. Uh, you can figure it out, all you do is unscrew your butt stock screws and go from there. Super easy. Um, I have the utmost confidence that if you need to do this, you can knock it out, all right? If not, give me a call, I'll walk you through it. All right, so uh, the cheek piece can raise up and down and flip it over for lefties like myself. We're gonna go ahead and flip it over. Uh, your adjustment screws are right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove them all the way. I'll get some of this stuff out the way here. And to adjust it, you would just realign it on the holes and put the screw back in. Uh, but we're gonna flip it over. And raise it just a little bit. That looks good. Almost looked good. All right, and, and we'll go about right there. Just line up the screw holes with the, uh, or line up the cheek piece holes with the holes on the stock, reinstall the screws, and there you have it. All right, another feature of the stock, uh, you have QD sockets on each side here. Uh, you got two more on the bottom, along with a standard sling swivel eyelet type. So plenty of options there. Uh, the sock itself I don't know if I mentioned this before, it is solid aluminum with the exception of the plastic cheek piece, rubber butt pad, and serrated plastic grip panels. All right, so, yeah, that feels pretty good. I may actually go a little bit lower on that cheek piece so I can still use my iron sights, but if you're using an optic on here, uh, having that cheek piece up is definitely, definitely a good option. All right, so that's all there is to it. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And if you're watching this on the website or you just need help, you want to hear a voice, I don't care, whatever, we're here for you, uh, give us a call on the tech line. We'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.